What's up, YouTube? Um, it's been a while since I've done my last video. I apologize for that. Let me take this uh, trough out of my mouth. So yeah, you guys, I told you guys that I'd be uh, back, and I am back, and I got my one dip I wanted to review. I'm not crazy about it. I've done it multiple times, but I've never reviewed it. So I figured might as well go ahead and try and do it on the YouTube. So today, I'm doing a beautiful little tub of Stokers. Uh, straight. Uh, you know, you guys know I'm a wintergreen guy, so yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I I don't know how to set up the uh, phone yet, so uh, you still guys got to give me some time with that. I'm not that great with this technical stuff. I just like to do the videos. So, yeah, um, alright. I got this from a buddy of mine and uh, who usually does this in school. I don't really like... I like Stokers, but I like Stokers Wintergreen the best. So, um, yeah. I've tried this beforehand. You see, I can, I ripped open the tab. So, um, let's get a good old look at this. I'm going to spell it on the keyboard. I have my phone on my laptop. So, Let's get a look at that. Like this is very stringy, very stringy stuff. Um, yeah, it's pretty stringy. I mean, it condenses a lot, so you have to take a big one. So let's get a pinch of this one. It smells like straight. If you don't know what, sm what straight smells like, I'm sorry. I don't know how to explain it. So let's get a pinch in here. So yeah, you can see how much it condense in my mouth. Let's set this down here. So yeah, what have you guys been up to? Go ahead and comment me. I've seen a couple people start to comment and send me messages. So uh, I'm glad about that. Probably shouldn't have taken that big of one. I can't really talk. No, it's starting to set in. I think I can. I mean, it's an overall good dip. I'm used to wintergreen, mostly grizzly and Copenhagen wintergreen. So, I mean, I mean, it doesn't really have that much of a nicotine flavor because I just had grizzly wintergreen in my mouth. So, it's an overall pretty good dip. If you're a beginner, I'd say, because it pinches so well. I mean, look, this one's still hanging on me. Got a little hanger. But, yeah, so, I mean, it's a good dip if you're a beginner and you want to try something. You want to start out on the low side. You don't want to start out on the big side. It's a good overall dip. Taste, I give it, like, winter on the, sorry, on the straight taste, it's good. But on nicotine flavor, it's bad. I think that's just because I'm so used to the nicotine by now. I don't know. Go ahead and message me and tell me what big of a dumbass I am about all this stuff. I'm, you know. Yeah, I don't really have to, sw like, spit with stokers because I'm so used to swallowing it, swallowing it in school that it doesn't really affect me that much. So yeah, um, I give it like a good old, if you're a beginner, I give it as like 7 out of 10. If you're a seasoned dipper and you're used to wintergreen and the hard shit, this is like a 5. Like, if you press it down in your mouth and really suck on it for a bit, you can get a good old, like, black looking spit out of it, but other than that, you're not getting black. You're, I think that's just because I'm used to the wintergreen. I don't know. Sorry for this 
review, guys. It's not that great. I'm still trying to get everything set up. So, uh, yeah. Keep on dipping and spitting. Another review's coming, boys.